Welcome. Happy Thursday. So glad all of you are here with us today. Uh, today our topic is how we can transform our marketing strategy in our space, construction and engineering using Oracle Eloqua. And I'm really excited to be able to talk to you guys today. My name is Melissa Santos. I am the Director of Consulting Services here at Relationship One. And I am joined by one of my colleagues, Scott Ingram. He's one of our account directors and very excited. We have Erin Hoppel here today as well, the Digital Marketing Manager, Lead Generation for Cornerstone Building Brands. And after I talk for a little bit, I'm gonna talk for about 10-ish minutes, um, really just focused on some of the the key challenges that we face in the marketing space within construction and engineering. And I'll also talk a little bit about Eloqua and how Eloqua addresses some of those challenges as well as get a little bit more in depth into some of the capabilities that Eloqua gives us with our marketing strategies. After that, I get to hand it over to Scott and Erin and we all get to hear a little bit about what Erin and her team are doing at Cornerstone Building Brands to elevate their marketing strategy using Eloqua. All right, so let's dive right in. Um, like any industry, we face a lot of challenges, right? So this is certainly not all encompassing. These are more of sort of the top five challenges that we hear on a regular basis from our clients in this space, as well as you know issues that we tend to address. Um, one of them is managing expectations, right? It is so important for us to be able to communicate things like timelines, costs, outcomes, things like that. And it can be it can be challenging, right, to have that clear and consistent communication. But we know it's important. We know it's it's vital to maintain that client trust. Our industry is highly competitive. Um, it's important that we differentiate ourselves from our competitors, right? We have to be able to communicate our unique capabilities, our techniques, our expertise, and we do that through our marketing, right? Our communication to our clients. Every marketer faces this, right? I mean, as, as you guys know, marketing changes quickly. Um, we've got to keep up with the trends. We've got to keep up with the technologies. And at the same time, we, right, we have to adapt what we're doing. We have to look at our online presence. We have to look at our marketing strategies. And we need to use some of these new technologies in order to effectively reach and engage our audience. Qualified leads, it almost goes without saying, right? In our space, it is so critical for sales and marketing to be hand in hand, right? And so not only are we doing a lot on the lead nurturing side, but we're also focused on lead generation. And it's not just lead generation for lead generation's sake, right? We've got to qualify these leads and make sure they're valuable for sales. And so to do that, we really need a strong understanding of our target market. We really need to be able to utilize our marketing tools and our analytics effectively. Budgets are king. Um, that's pretty much for everybody. Uh, our, our budgets are smaller. They're, they're tight, right? Budgets are tight for everybody. And return on investment is is sort of the go-to. You know, it's it's just, <clears throat> as you guys know, it's just not enough anymore to say we that our content's engaging. That's great. And at the same time, we have to show the impact. How are we impacting the business? What return are we getting? And as we look into that, right, we're continually adjusting our marketing mix to adapt and get more for our dollar, so to speak. So with all of that as a background, the question is, okay, so how do we address some of these key marketing challenges? And most, if not all of you in this room are likely using Eloqua. And so as you know, Eloqua is one part of the Oracle Marketing Cloud puzzle. Eloqua is Oracle's marketing automation tool. And there's also responses. Responses falls more in campaign management. So think of responses as more high volume trigger-based marketing. <clears throat> Crowd Twist is Oracle's loyalty and rewards program. Unity is Oracle's CDP. Um, and like most CDPs, Unity's strength is being able to aggregate data from multiple sources and create these unified profiles that in marketing we can use to decision, target, personalize, so on and so forth. Unity Behavioral Intelligence adds another layer where we can see in real time how individuals are interacting with our online tool sets. So we can see their online behaviors and again, use some of that for personalization and targeting. Marketing is just one piece of the puzzle, of course. We won't get into too much depth on this side slide, but just sort of wanted to show the Oracle customer experience platform as a whole, right? And, and as I said, marketing is one piece of that. 
Some of you might be using some of these CX applications, this marketing, sales, service, so on and so forth. Um, and of course, if you guys have any questions on this or, or really anything in general, feel free to throw it in chat anytime during this conversation and, and we'll answer your questions toward the end of the, of the presentation. So getting back into Eloqua, right, why we're here, um, these are some of the core capabilities of Eloqua. I know there's a lot on this slide. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into those next, but really the, the importance of this slide is just to understand that Eloqua helps to address all of those challenges I just talked about, right? It helps us to bridge some of those gaps. There's campaign orchestration, segmentation, analytics, marketing sales alignment. Eloqua helps us to do all of those things. So we'll just touch briefly on this. I know we could spend a lot of time here, but we want to get to the good stuff. We want to hear from Aaron um, and Scott. So I'll go through this a little quickly again, if you have any questions, throw it in chat. <clears throat> so Eloqua's bread and butter is really the campaign orchestration piece, right? So with Eloqua, we have the ability to easily create these advanced cross-channel campaigns. And today it has to be cross-channel, right? We know sometimes email isn't enough. We've got to think about text and social and all these other things. Eloqua gives us the ability to communicate to our contacts where and when they need to be communicated to. Um, <clears throat> segmentation is a big part of that, which we'll talk about here in a second. But once those contacts are in our workflow, we have the ability to decision based on a number of factors, whether it's profile data or behavioral data. And again, be able to reach and speak to our contacts when it matters most. Orchestration sort of starts off with segmentation, right? We need to know who it is we're going to be nurturing, talking to, communicating with. There's lots of ways we can create segments within Eloqua. This is just one example, right? Eloqua has a very robust segmentation tool where we can use firmographic data as well as behavioral data to create very targeted lists, right? We can pinpoint exactly who it is we need to speak to. And these segments are dynamic, which basically means they're continually looking for new contacts that meet the criteria. So we can have these always on evergreen type nurture campaigns. And of course, you know, the beauty is we can bring data from multiple sources, as you all know, the integration capabilities in Eloqua are fairly robust. So we can utilize data from CRMs and third party platforms and, and things of that nature. And it's not just segments to kind of kick off some communications. We have the ability to pull real, real live streaming data so that we can do trigger based marketing, think like retargeting or even transactional messages. Lead management goes back to sales marketing alignment, right? So yes, we're building these lead nurture campaigns and orchestrations. We also need to be able to score these leads so we can effectively hand them off to sales, right? It's that sales marketing alignment that we talked about. And the whole point is to kind of improve some of this speed to lead time. And so with these lead scores, we have the ability to use both profile and behavioral data to come up with a score that can help us determine which leads to send to sales. And in any good sales marketing alignment process, right, we're also getting feedback from sales on the quality of those leads. And Eloqua gives us the ability to either tighten or loosen some of that criteria so that we can elevate the leads that we're sending over. As part of the orchestration, assets are a big piece, right? It's, it's the emails we're sending, landing page we might be routing folks to, progressive forms that we're building, right? Eloqua gives us the ability to create and manage those assets directly in the tool. Um, and the benefit of that also is that we can create very personalized content. So again, we can use that profile information or behavioral event information to personalize what individuals see. So it's more of a one-to-one -one type of communication. And it's easy to create these customizable content blocks that can then be used throughout the organization. Analytics, right? Most important thing. We have to measure, we have to know what's working and what's not working. And Eloqua comes with over 200 reports out, out of the box, um, multiple dashboards. So you can see on a glance, you know, what's, which campaigns are performing better than others, which emails are performing better than others. You can slice and dice the information however you need to see it. And you can also use closed loop reporting, which not only gives us that engagement data, but it also shows us the impact that these campaigns and assets are having on our revenue. Sales tools are super important, right? Again, sales marketing alignment. There's a couple of tools here to call out. One is Eloqua Profiler. That's what you see here. 
Eloqua Profiler gives sales reps visibility into their contacts. So it's an easy way for them to see how are these contacts engaging with our marketing? What, what are they clicking? What web pages are they going to? All of those good things. And sales can also see the lead score of that individual. Eloqua Engage is a little bit different. Engage allows sales to send pre-approved marketing email templates. So marketing can create these email templates, they can brand them, they can decide what's editable and what's not, and then sales can use those to send to contacts. Artificial intelligence is the buzzword of the day. Um, and as some of you might know, Eloqua offers an advanced intelligence add-on package. As part of that package, we get capabilities such as send time optimization so that when emails go out, they're received at the optimal time for that specific individual. There's fatigue analysis, so we're not oversaturating our contacts with emails. There's subject line optimization. There's what you see here, account engagement scores, the further our um, ABM efforts as well. And the sky's kind of the limit, right? So uh, it's not just the capabilities within Eloqua, but as you likely know, Oracle Marketing App Cloud has over 500 pre-built applications. Um, and so these applications extend the abilities of Eloqua, whether it's campaign extendability, maybe data cleansing, third-party integrations. And of course, there's always the RESTful APIs that Eloqua makes available. So if you need to create your own integration, you can. And just a quick reminder about the data. So Eloqua gives us these actionable profiles, right? Because at the end of the day, it's all about the data we have on these individuals. So you can see here, right? We've got profile information, preferences, campaign responses, events, lead scores. And with all of that information is powerful, right? Because then we can create our targets, our segments, our personalizations, all of those things we know that we have to do. So tie, try to tie it all together. Um, you know, we talked about our challenges. We talked about Eloqua and how it addresses some of those challenges. And these are really the top priorities that, you know, we hear from clients who are using Eloqua for exactly what you're using it for. And it comes down to a lot of the same things we've already talked about, right? It's the lead nurturing, generating qualified leads and having that tight relationship with sales, making sure our segmentation is on point, lots of personalization, right? The more one-to-one, -one, the better streamlining our automations, data-driven marketing, that's key. Again, it's, it's knowing what's working and what's not and adapting accordingly. And then of course, integration. If we're gonna be tight with our sales folks, we've gotta have integration across our systems, especially our CRM systems and our sales tools. So with that, I get to hand it over to Erin Hoppel at Cornerstone Building Brands. Erin, um, do you wanna tell us a little bit about yourself and Cornerstone Building Brands? Yes. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm really proud to be able to represent Cornerstone Building Brands on this call. We can go to the next slide if that's all right. So as North America's largest manufacturer of exterior building solutions, we are committed to creating value for our customers, but also the communities where, where we also have, have our offices and lives and staff too. With all of the the, being the largest manufacturer also just comes a large family of brands. So our family of leading brands here offers a comprehensive range of exterior building products and services developed to meet our individual customer needs. So these solutions really cover a wide range of markets and end uses, both residential and commercial. Uh, this also includes both new construction and the repair and remodel as well. With so many brands also means we need a really large footprint. So we have over 150 facilities that are strategically located across North America to best serve our customers. Really thinking about our breadth and scale here and how that enables us to provide solutions when and where customers need them, but also thinking back to the problems that, uh, that stated earlier on as far as bringing transparency and clarity to our customers too. This added some complexity to, to some of that need as well. As far as what do we mean when we say residential and commercial? Well, here on the screen, you can see what we offer as far as our, our residential solutions. I really have an extensive range here of exterior cladding products and installation solutions that are designed to work seamlessly together, and really trying to deliver those beautiful curb appeal for any home style. These were carefully designed to meet the needs of customers across North America, thinking about different geolocation needs and things like that. And our window and door products enhance living spaces with quality and aesthetics to fit any opening. So very customizable. For the commercial solutions, 
really proud that we're number one in metal roof and, com and components in North America. Uh, because of the way that we manufacture our different uh, metal products here, we actually get superior strength, durability, and design flexibility with our commercial solutions. So that's kind of a uh, cornerstone in a very small nutshell, but of course, we're a much larger player within the construction and manufacturing space. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you, Aaron. Um, so now I get to bring in Scott Ingram. Uh, Scott, I know you and Aaron are going to have a small conversation about what Aaron and her team are doing to elevate marketing. So I will hand it off to you. Excellent. Well, it's great to be with you again, Aaron. You and I had a, an opportunity to sit down together in person uh, a number of months ago. Uh, if folks want to go back and listen to that conversation, uh, that was on our Inspired Marketing podcast, uh, episode 85. So just open up your, your favorite podcast player, search for Inspired Marketing, and you should be able to find that or search for Aaron's name and, and you'll get straight there. But you know, Melissa gave a great overview of some of these capabilities and what all Eloquid does. But now we've got an opportunity to really talk about how does it actually work in the in the real world? Aaron, talk a little bit about um, just, I, I guess, the big picture, right? Maybe walk mm -hmm. us through kind of your marketing automation journey and some of the ways that you and your team use Eloqua. Yeah, I am. Um, see, I think we've we've really focused on putting Eloqua front and center in our marketing and and customer data strategy as well. And it's difficult for us because we're a rather large enterprise, so it can take time to educate all of the staff on the importance of how to connect Eloqua to, to their marketing strategy. But when the business units are able to do just that, connect Eloqua capabilities directly to their marketing strategy, we've seen just great improvements in efficiency and building that pipeline as well. So primarily for us, that means we use Eloqua kind of as our lead generation and marketing automation platform. Uh, that translates down into forms, of course, uh, emails and, and SMS marketing, landing pages, and of course, the transactional email as well. It's a big part of what we use Eloqua for now. Yeah. Well, one of the, one of the ways that I know you guys really use Eloqua well, one of the first things Melissa talked about in, in terms of the challenges in this space is just the way that we have to communicate with our customers and the way that we're managing expectations. You guys do an absolutely tremendous job. Can you talk about some of the ways that you leverage the platform to do just that? Ah, oh, thank you. I'm <laughs> thank you for saying we do it well. I've really loved working on that project as well. Um, yeah, we as we all know, the construction industry is moving really large items around, uh, and so unlike our personal Amazon deliveries, uh, construction site deliveries need a whole team to unload them and just have other special considerations. So Melissa's earlier point of having that transparency and clarity with, with our customers is really important. Uh, and it has, has been for a while, but we just didn't have an automated thing in place to give them that. And unfortunately, during COVID, more pressure was put on us as well uh, because of the increased lead times. Uh, so getting our products like manufactured was taking longer. Uh, so with a real need for clarity and also faced with these supply chain challenges, we looked to try and automate alerting our customer when their project reached those crucial milestones. So we started that by looking at our ordering systems and seeing what the data flow was like just at that moment. The, the kind of goal was to uh, just like look at this, create this new milestone system and make it as seamless as possible. So our goal is to kind of keep the day-to-day -day workflow of how our staff uh, was, was working the orders exactly the same and just use the ERP system to trigger those Eloqua emails and text messages. So as we were kind of going through the ERP system and identifying where we could actually set out a trigger, we identified 16 different milestones. That has now blown up. So I think we're at like 35 milestones in total that Cornerstone's actively trying to build out. Um, and so with the most of these, uh, sorry, rather the most complex of these are definitely around these deliveries, right? So we implemented a truck tracking GPS tool uh, to give our customers real-time updates as far as being able to see where that truck is and when it's coming. Um, but an even more complex part of this and where Eloqua really helped was implementing automatic delivery confirmations, meaning as the very first time when we have an idea of when we're going to load that order onto the truck, we want to ask uh, the customer if that date also works for them. So, you know, it's really like up to the minute uh, of like whenever that, that load date is saved, that is when that alert is now triggered to go out to the customer. We ask them to confirm whether that this date is good. If they say yes, that's great. If not, they can also pick a time to reschedule. 
So it sounds like a lot of back and forth and like a lot of manual touch points, but we actually automated all of it using Eloqua forms, landing pages, emails. Our Microsoft CRM integration was also really key. And we also use um, text messages and SMS in this process too. And it's been really great. We've had great success and feedback from our customers. On the very last milestone, we added a little, you know, because it wasn't complex enough. So we added a little transactional survey to also get an idea of how the whole alerts experience was. And out of thousands of deliveries, we're still averaging five stars for the Cornerstone Building Brands alerts experience, which has just been phenomenal. It's incredible. And and there's, I mean, there's so many moving parts in that, yes. right? You're, you're talking yeah. dozens of triggers. You showed us a map with, you know, the the hundred plus locations that that you have. And yet you're automating virtually all of it. How how are you using Eloqua to manage like that level of complexity at scale? I think we'd have to have Eloqua uh, to to handle that complexity because Eloqua itself is also a complex tool. Um, but it's that complexity that also gave us the flexibility that we needed to really get the the right solution in place. So even thinking about those delivery confirmations, we used Eloqua's complexity to try and remove as much of that friction from the customer experience as possible. So we didn't want them to have to re-enter their order number each time, because these are a lot of these are repeat customers. So this is something that happens to them on like a, a weekly basis. And so trying to just make that as smooth and automated as possible is really important. So we kind of, we did that um, by out, out adding in stuff like the order number in the URL as a parameter and then had that parameter feed into a hidden field onto the form. So to the customer, it just looks like the system knows that it's them and it's gonna pre-populate those form fields and just make it like an easy submit. But there was actually a lot of complexity and a lot of forethought that went into automating that for them. But that's really how we, I think it's, it's pivotal for us that we have Eloqua to be able to do that because wherever we can, we wanna use Eloqua's complex capabilities to automate and scale for us. A great benefit to the delivery notification is that it's also like we can replicate it. It doesn't have to just be set for the for the certain brand that we've made because we are a larger enterprise. Now that we have the solution in place, we can also, for brands that are similar, just uh, repeat this whole project for them. So it's that kind of complexity that gives us that flexibility to create just pinpoint solutions. It's great. <laughs> You know, it's it's interesting that you say only Eloqua can can handle things at, at the scale. And and one of the things I often find is, uh, unlike some other platforms, you, with with those systems, you kind of have to adapt your business. You have to change the mm -hmm. way you do business to fit the way that they want to function and they want to operate. Whereas you can adapt Eloqua to fit your business, right? I, I think of it, it's totally. like a tailored suit, right? I, I can really make this fit us without having to change who we are and the way that we operate, which I, obviously you're very, very good at. But sometimes I, it doesn't do everything, right? Melissa no. <laughs> talked about the the ways that we can extend the platform and we can connect uh, other other platforms. Can you talk about some of the ways that you've been able to leverage those connections and, yeah. and those abilities to extend the platform? For sure. I very much agree. As complex as Eloqua is, it's still not capable of everything that a whole marketing team would want, right? Especially in today's digital environment. So an opportunity we found was definitely around transactional email and being able to bring in that dynamic set of data and put it into a static email uh, email template. So dynamic going into static really isn't feasible. So we worked with a relationship one to identify how we could identify including those amounts of data in our emails to the customers. So what does that mean really? Thinking about things like uh, parts that someone might have ordered or the number of orders that are actually going to go on to a shipment. Right? So that, that stuff's constantly changing and we need a template that was going to change along with them. That's not really part of Eloqua's core capabilities. Um, so we augmented that instead by looking at the relationship one transactional email app. And that's been a big game changer, I think, for not only our internal marketing team, not, not that our customers would know that it's the transactional email app that has done this, but that it has unlocked a lot of capability for both sides, for us internally and externally for our customers too. We've been better able to track uh, that email that's going out, whereas before the system we were previously using didn't report on things like deliverability. Uh, so that's now coming back into our system. We're also just a lot more efficiency within Eloqua with all that shared and dynamic content type of capabilities that also wasn't available in the previous platform. 
and just creating that kind of premier customer experience, right? It's act, the email is accurate. It's branded correctly. It's safe. It's coming to you on time with the right information. Marketers also got a big benefit from the transactional email app because now we're even just getting in that transactional data, right? And so they can see when someone has placed an order and easily add them to, to a segment to kind of start to personalize the rest of that journey too. So it's just been um, a big game changer and a big shift in how we think about how Eloqua can be because there are limitations to it as complex as it is. Um, but whenever we do find those, try and find an app to extend or augment the, the ability has um, really helped us ensure that our costs are also remaining low as well as uh, just making sure also that our data is sitting in one actionable spot too. Because if you add on another platform, you have to also think about syncing up that data into the space where it can be acted on. So there's, yeah, there's costs beyond just uh, other tools you'd have to buy as well, this is my point, so. You know, there's there's so much that that you are doing and have done. Obviously, this wasn't an overnight thing to be able to build like this comprehensive of a of a system. I know there have been uh, lots of of hard won lessons learned uh, along the way. What what advice would you have for somebody that's in the early stages of their journey? Maybe they're just kind of starting out with Eloqua. Or we've had it. Now it's it's really time to start to advance things. How should they think about this? How can they be successful in in their journey and get to the place that you are? Sure. Uh, I think a common cliche, but it, it is definitely a marathon and not a sprint. Um, and my, my boss did a wonderful job when I first joined of really focusing me around a, a roadmap, right? He wanted me to think more long-term. And I think that's been really beneficial for me in general. So I would also advise to build a roadmap and think about incremental change. So as we started to build up our marketing automation muscle, because it was very new for Cornerstone Building Brands, started to track where we're started, where where we've made improvements, right? And so since I've been with the team, we're able to show each year, like as as we're gaining momentum, and that helps to arm us with business cases and data to show executive leadership about the ROI that we're getting from Eloqua and from our automation efforts. I think it's also really important too to partner with an agency who truly understands the capabilities of Oracle Eloqua because it is complex. And you're also going to want to ensure that you get just the most out of your Eloqua instance. This is this is a big investment. And for me, that means squeezing it <laughs> for all that you can possibly get out of it. I've I've found that partner definitely in relationship one and really come to rely on their hands-on help of customizing our Eloqua instance, as well as these apps that help extend um, the Eloqua capabilities. Yeah, you know, I, I think just getting started out like this, um, one of the things we work with our clients on a lot is just the change management, right? We're, we're putting yeah. in a new platform, we're adopting these things. And I, what I love that you pointed out is it's it's showing that value right away, right? That that helps you sort of maintain mm -hmm. that momentum and that excitement when we can show, hey, we got this one, we're, sh we're, we're delivering real value, real efficiencies, and then just continuing to build upon those o over time. What, what about for more sophisticated teams, right? They, they yeah. are more advanced. They've been at this for a while. What what do you tell them to continue on, on this path and to continue to make those kinds of really high value impacts in their business? Yeah, I, I, I love that question. I think um, two big things come to mind. One would be automating marketing campaigns based on customer data. And then I very much agree with Melissa's point earlier. I think aligning the sales, right? I think if you're more sophisticated, it may come out as more basic as well, because you should be doing that. But um, but I, I do think it's really important. So I guess for, for the first one, the automating the marketing campaigns based on customer data, um, really just making that actionable. So you can look at customer data around a customer, like one experience and start to automate just that. But I think if you are in a sophisticated, maybe a larger space too, you want to pause maybe and think more holistically about your customer data and start to identify really a separate roadmap for how to make automated, scalable, personalized customer experiences using that first person data or, or the third party data. As far as marketing aligning with sales, right, it is kind of those basic ones. I think, are you sharing the same KPIs? Uh, do you have agreed on goals for MQLs, SQLs, and sales accepted leads? Uh, are you meeting regularly to discuss what's working and what's not? And have you identified those ideal accounts and leads, right? If we can't really get an account-based marketing 
uh, campaign or system going until everyone knows like who is the pinnacle, who who should we be going after? So I, it, you may think, um, how can Eloqua help with that? But it, it really can when thinking about your integration with CRM. And so Eloqua and CRM can work together to kind of build those unique customer journeys, thinking about when a sale is, when a lead is qualified, what do you want that conversation to be versus when a lead is disqualified, what, what types of content should they be sent instead? All of that's doable with the, with the native integrations between Eloqua and, and the CRM systems. You just need to kind of think about what those situations would be and plan, plan a campaign around it. Yeah, great, great, great stuff. That is all of the questions that I had planned, but I know we already have a couple uh, from the audience. And if you have a question, you're, you're watching us live. Uh, if you want to just put that into the chat or into the questions area, uh, Melissa is going to field those for us. And I, Aaron, I'm sure they'll all be for you, but if I can, if I can chime in, I'm happy to. <laughs> All right, great. No, that was awesome. Uh, yeah, we do have a couple questions. One thing that came in is around the complexity of Eloqua. I know you mentioned that, Aaron, and, and folks are kind of wondering, you know, what's a what's a good place to get started, right? Where do you where do you start when you're first coming into Eloqua? What might be a few things that you would consider or you might pass on to individuals? I, I did this actually when when I was joining uh, Cornerstone, a business unit didn't have Eloqua yet, so we onboarded them. Uh, and so a lot of that was focused around training my marketing staff of what the capabilities are to kind of get their mind flowing around how, how they could use it. But a big thing we focused on for onboarding was forms, frankly. And so starting out building out all the forms that they had on their website, building those into an Eloqua version, and then starting to think about what should happen next, right? So when someone fills out that quote form, what do I want to happen? I want them to get an autoresponder email. Maybe I also want to send them to a custom object. I want to have that custom object have some rules in it. If it applies, maybe I want to send them over to the CRM system too. It's a little complex for a starting point, I got to say, but it really got our team <laughs> got our team thinking about, you know, what what do we want our lead generation space to be and and it's, and it got our, our our juices flowing. So even though that may be a, a harder starting point, I would recommend it cuz it, it has such a good conversation around it. Yeah, for sure. And you know, as from our standpoint, right, we we implement so many clients across the board, different mm -hmm. industries, construction engineering. I think for me, it's a, it's a, it's a crawl, walk, run approach, right? That's yes. kind of what we always recommend for anybody. And especially when you're starting on Eloqua, it's sort of the low hanging fruit. Like what are some things we can easily automate, right? Mm -hmm. What are some, what are some emails that we could easily start triggering to folks? Maybe things we're doing manually now that we can automate in the system, right? It's sort of a, yeah, it's it's a let's not try to tackle the world let's take it little little bits here and there right what kind of data do we have accessible how can we maybe you know if we're already doing some email communications how do we start to add a little bit of personalization to your point are there some transactional emails we might be able to build in and then over time right we we can grow in complexity and, and scott you've, you've done this a million times too i'm sure you have some thoughts there yeah, it's it's the same things we've been talking about, right? It's it's obviously there is almost no end to what you can do on the on the very advanced, more complex side of things. But there's a lot of very simple, very easy, very high value uh, things that that you can implement right out of the gate. Um, and and Aaron, I, I love how you talked about one one of the more advanced things is uh, is the relationship between sales and marketing. It's also one of the most basic things right so that's one of those things that never stops it's an ongoing conversation to where the the better that we can understand each other and help each other and, and that's my whole world right i have a foot in in each of those spaces i spend a lot of time in sales i spend a lot of time working with marketers and and the better that we can coordinate and collaborate there's a lot of value uh that, yeah. that can be delivered there i also had one more thought melissa what i personally sure. did as well when i first uh, join Cornerstone. I went through Oracle's um, documentation of what Eloqua kind of comes with and what its capabilities are. And I just made a note of what we were actively using versus what we weren't yet. And then I just slowly filled up the gaps, right? Started to think about what in there was like, we definitely should be using today. And then what I could wait a year on or something more. But that helped guide me as far as building out that, um, that roadmap as well. Excellent. Excellent. Well, 
Very good. Thank you both. Thank you both for your time. Erin, thank you so much for sharing your experiences and all these wonderful things you're doing over at Cornerstone Building Brands. Um, those are our questions for today. Uh, just as a reminder, after this webinar, we will be sending out an email link, um, which will have the recording within it. You'll be able to link out to this recording, and we will also send some additional content. So thank you all for joining. Hope you have a wonderful day.